Hey guys, so today's um, more, not really, a le not really like, you know how normally I do lessons on things, like I kind of share information. Well, this one's more of my opinion. Well, it's informational as well, but it's my, I'm, my arm is so itchy. I've been itching it for the past like minute. Um, more of a vlog type video on the topic of health. <laughs> now, the reason I want to discuss this is because... A lot of people approach me about being pagan and they're like, well, aren't you worried about going to hell? Aren't you scared that you might have it wrong? My quickest response to that, and I usually don't get mad, is, well, if I'm only being Christian because I'm fearing hell, that's the wrong reason to be Christian. And then they kind of like go, oh, well, yeah, but aren't you still scared? And I'm like, no, because I don't believe in it. I have never, when I was younger, I was raised Christian. And let me tell you something. Being raised Christian by a mother who believes in hell and believes that you'll go there and having a dad who doesn't believe in hell was totally weird. Um, I never was able to wrap my, round, my, my, round, <laughs> my mind around the concept of hell. Never. Because I thought to myself, why would a loving God, which by the way, the Abrahamic God is loving and not so loving, <laughs> create I never thought a god could or a deity could be that evil could have that much hate towards humans even bad ones that would create a place of of torment for the rest of eternity I mean it's eternity what why like what vindictive sort of person like you're not supposed to be vindictive vindictive personalities is a bad trait it is not a healthy trait <laughs> okay and when you're talking about deity you're talking about a perfect being that can't do many wrongs you know you're talking about someone who is above us who is able to move past all that so I couldn't comprehend why deity could create a hell of torment and demons and all this evil and I was just like yeah no I don't believe it and for me when I was doing research about it um, and when I was studying the old I was studying the Bible in college and my teacher talked about it and he said in the Old Testament if you go back and you research you know the words the original words and the original text and you go back to what the Hebrew meanings were in the Old Testament there was no concept of hell there wasn't a concept of you're gonna go to hell there was a concept of blessings while you were alive in abundance while you were alive and long life while you were alive and then when you died you just died <laughs> so there wasn't this concept of torment until it got translated and translated and translated where you come up with these words like Hades which got translated into hell which Hades never meant hell. Hades is a Greek term which means afterlife. Everyone went there. Um, and then there was another word which just meant grave. Um, so it gets misconstrued and so I was never able to even believe in hell. I just didn't understand it. Now there are many people who do believe in hell and they're scared of it and it's this dogma that many religious people who even helped pa pave the path of these religions probably created so that it would put fear in people's lives. Like the Catholics for example and I'm not hating on the Catholics so don't take me wrong on this but um, the people who, who helped institutionalize the Catholic faith and, and run it decided to adorn their cathedrals with depictions of hell and depictions of demons to instill fear in the population so the population would come to church because they feared damnation. Think about it logically. If you're instilling fear in a population of people who are mostly at that in that time of in that time period uneducated, they're gonna do what you want them to do. They're gonna go to the church and because they're in fear of it. But it's always the wrong reason to do it. Hell is one of those concepts where I just think it's fake. I think it was created because people wanted a justice system that was heavenly, that was created by a deity so that there would be justice on earth that this deity ordained, like decided would happen. Um, 
Now, do I believe there's a justice system? That's a whole nother topic. That's, that's talking about karma and the threefold line. That's a different video. Um, and I will get into that more then. But basically, I do not believe there is a place of torment. I do not believe if we're going to reap something, it's going to happen on earth. It's not going to happen af in our afterlife. Um, now, one question someone asked me, which actually was my brother, he said to me, well, if there's no hell, then how come, then why can't people just do what they want? And I just was like, why do you need a hell to prevent you from doing bad things? I'm like, you should just not want to do bad things to people. Like, I don't understand. Like, I didn't understand his question because I was like, that just seems weird to me that the only reason you're not committing heinous acts is because you're scared of hell. Something's wrong with you if you don't understand the different, dif differentiation, differentiation, yeah, between being a good person and the fear of hell. Like, you should just want to be a good person to be a good person. There should be no dogma attached to it. And this hell is dogma. It is a creation that puts fear into people so they don't do bad things. But you shouldn't have to be, you should want to do good things to do good things. You shouldn't want a fear to do good things. And that is my view on the matter. So I don't believe in hell. Never have. So anyone who always tells me, aren't you scared of hell? Aren't you scared of demons? Oh my god. Da -da -da -da. I'm like, am I scared of being tormented by demons in hell? No, because I don't believe of hell. I don't believe in hell. I don't believe I'm going to go to hell and be tormented for the rest of my life and pierced a million times and torn apart, my flesh torn apart. No. Just no. <laughs> so... That is my view on the matter. I would love to hear your guys' opinion on whether you believe there is a concept of hell in your belief system. Um, I don't know many pagans who have a belief in hell. Some might. I'm not positive. I'm not entirely positive. Um, but let me know. Um, and let me know your thoughts and experiences with being talked with about it. Um, so anyway, guys, that's it. If you'd like to... Um, Rate, comment, and subscribe. Please feel free to do so. And as always, guys, I'll see you next time.